Here in this lesson, we're going to look at the extended ratio part. Uh, so first off, it's just what is an extended ratio? Very similar to a ratio, just now instead of comparing just two numbers, we are going to compare three or more. Four, five, six, it doesn't matter. We could do all kinds of them. Now here's my one example that I've given. I have, this is read as A to B to C, which really means that we have a multiple uh, ratios involved here. We, could, we can look at just the A to B ratio, the B to C ratio, or the A to C ratio. And I've written it um, as a fraction as well below, as the A over the B, the B over C, just other ways to write your ratio. Now, how we can actually use the extended ratio is going to show up in this problem. I have a triangle, and I'm going to tell you it has three sides. Obviously, it's a triangle. And the ratio of those three sides is 5 to 12 to 13. And the perimeter is 90 centimeters. What I want to know is, how long are those three sides? Because obviously, if the three sides were just 5, 12, and 13, if I add those three numbers together, it doesn't come up to 90. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go picture-wise here. I know that my sides have a ratio of 5 to 12 to 13. But like I said, those can't actually be the side lengths, because that only adds up to 30. So what I need to realize is, this is a ratio. And this extended ratio has been simplified, meaning every single one of those sides must have had a common factor. I don't know what it is right now, but I'm going to look for it. And what I'm saying is, they had a common factor. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to call it x. Well, if it was a common factor, that means we have to multiply it by our different numbers. So now I'm going to look at this. Instead of being a ratio of 5 to 12 to 13, I'm going to look at it as a ratio of 5x to 12x. 13x, because those would be the actual numbers involved. Now, if those are really all of my side lengths, and the problem told me that the perimeter is 90 centimeters, well, now I look at this and go, well, to calculate perimeter, I need to add all my sides together. I'm going to go with my 5x, my 12x, my 13x, and I said, if I add them all together, it's going to equal the actual perimeter, which is 90. Now I have an equation that I can solve. Add these all together. It came out to be 30x equal to 90. And finished off by solving for x. I find out that my x, or my common factor in all of, all of my ratios, or each part of my ratio, is going to be 3. Now if I know that x is 3, I can plug that back in and take my 5 times 3 going to come out to be 15 centimeters for that short side. Go to my next one. I'm going to take 12 times my x value, and then that's going to come out to be 36 centimeters, as called my middle side length. And then last but not least, I'm going to have the longest one, so I'm going to take 13 times my 3 that I found out to be x, and find out that that one is going to equal 39 centimeters. So I found the length of my three sides of my triangle using that extended ratio, using an equation to solve for a variable, and then plugging it back in. And that's going to conclude my little portion on extended ratios.